Hello, entrepreneurs. Joe DeChara back again, coming to you live from downtown Flushing. And I am in the eye of the storm. I've heard that this is the worst place to be uh, in the world right now as far as the COVID-19 goes. But like I said in the past, I'm not going to let that stop me from bringing you this important, vital business information because, because it's important, because you're important. And if you're watching this, you probably have a small business. And what I do is I help business owners organize their toys so that they can make, make lots and lots of money and buy stuff for their family. And that was my explanation on today's Facebook post because my, my friend Haley Gray said, explain your business like you're explaining it to a second grader. And the truth is that that's how I've arranged my business. I have all, all these toys around me. I mean, the, this is a toy. This is like a game to me. And, and what's amazing is that 15 years ago, I had a vision of a business where I wasn't uh, relegated to a cubicle in an office, having the drive to clients. And, and then, you know, all this technology started coming up with being able to connect to computers remotely. And then, you know, it just got better and better. And, but, you know, there was still things that, you had to to go out for and you know like networking events and, and meeting people well today i've been meeting more people online than all the days combined i think in, in my whole networking life you know it, it is amazing because you can get really laser focused for instance, yesterday I did a mastermind with, with two friends, uh, uh, Elizabeth and uh, and Susie. Uh, I won't say their last names to protect the the innocent, uh, but it was an amazing mastermind. I mean, we talked for an hour and a half, and you know, learned a lot about them, uh, learned a lot about business. You know, Susie is an expert. Uh, when it comes to, you know, financial planning and, and investing in the stock market. And Elizabeth is has a marketing niche that I, I could use for my business. You know, she helps connect uh, influencers through podcasts and, and social media. So, you know, if you're in business and you're struggling right now, you know, I know that it's tough. Business is tough without the pandemic. That's obvious. You know, take it a step further back. Life is tough. You know, even if you have a great job and, a, and a, everything's great, life is still going to have its trials and tribulations. Add to that the stress of owning a business. And, you know, it's not all fun and games, folks. And so I have devoted my time and effort efforts in my business because it, it's, it is still a business. I mean, this isn't, uh, I do this to, to put food on my table, just like everyone else. It's just that uh, I seem to have a lot more fun at it. And you can too. You can have fun in your business. And I find that the more fun that you have, the more money you make. And the more money you make, the, the more fun you could have. So all you have to do really is change your mindset. Uh, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Like I said, I can help you make it simple. And it's just a simple matter of organizing things in the right sequence. Because this is what happens, folks. Uh, and before I forget, let me just uh, remind everybody, if you ever want to uh, connect with me, if, if the things that I'm saying resonate with you, uh, if I say something that, you know, maybe catches your interest or you think that I might be able to help you with something, go to timewithjoe.com and, and book a free chat with me. I love talking to people about their business. Uh, or you can go to Mastermind with Joe DeChara and join the free mastermind group that I started. We, we meet twice a week, uh, once on Wednesday at 2 p.m. 
Eastern and, and Saturdays at 2 p.m. And you never know who you're going to connect with in, in these meetings, who you might be able to help. Uh, and and this, this is using the technology that's available to everybody. Most people have a computer or even a cell phone an internet connection and and this is how we do business now you know and i've actually been doing business like this for a long time but it just seems like everybody else is doing it now and and it's really great because it it affords us more opportunities to have more connections more uh, people in our sales funnels and I, I know that people are getting Facebooked out and Zoomed out and they're tired of all the online webinars. But you want to know something? This is evolution, okay? Yeah, things outside of our circumstances have forced us into, into doing business this way. But you want to know something? People might not want to go back to the older way of doing business. The brick and mortar, belly to belly, uh, you know, time wasting, uh, ge geographic traveling to places that, and and there there are times where we should be traveling to places. You know, you're not going to go to a concert. How cra how crazy is that going to be? We might be doing live concerts on Zoom, and now they're talking about having baseball games in empty stadiums. I mean, that, that to me isn't fun. But if you have a choice, if you have a choice of going out of your house or apartment, traveling, you know, 15 minutes, to a half an hour to an event just to meet people, uh, when you could meet hundreds of people in an instant, literally, and, and you know, that, that's how we're, we're doing things today. So I'm a happy camper. Uh, I know a lot of people out there aren't, uh, but it'll pass. It'll pass. And in the meantime, hopefully you're taking the time in your business. Now, not taking it, but investing it. And that's what I want to talk about tonight, which is the – I'm going to give you three simple steps – to start saving a massive amount of time. And one last thing I want to announce, thanks to my friend Jenny Wright, I am putting on a free webinar, May 26th. It's called How to Win at Business. And if you register there, like I said, it's free. It's going to be Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, How to Win at Business. And I am going to give you a ton of tools and resources to show you. I'm going to show you exactly where most businesses go off course and then how to stay on course so that you could be like me and have fun and make money in your business. Okay, and that, that's what I want to do. Go to howtowinitbusiness.com, register for the free event, and, you know, Another thing that I, I want to mention, I have a lot of things that I just want to mention before I talk about what I wanted to talk about tonight. But uh, I did post in, in Facebook that if you if you came on, on tonight and you and you uh, watch this tonight and if you're watching it, give me a hashtag live because Jenny Wright told me to do that. Uh, and then the. And what I promised is if you visit tonight and you listen to my three simple steps on how to save a massive amount of time till the end, I will tell you how to get the book, The Power of Human Connection by Cody Bateman free. Okay, and this is how you do it. You register to go to Mastermind with Joe DeChara. You register and then you show up. Anyone that shows up to the mastermind will get a, I, I will mail, personally mail you a thank you letter and a free book on the power of the human connection. Okay. So that, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. We got Mastermind with Joe DeChara and How to Win a Business free. 
Okay, I can't pay you to do this stuff, but I can try to entice you. And it is my hope that you, you take advantage of this. So let's let's dive into uh, what I like to call the plight of the entrepreneur. Because it's it's the same story every time. You know, we most times we don't go into business by accident. There are people that find themselves formally in a business by accident just because of circumstances such as driving an Uber car. Now, that becomes your own business. You're not an employee. You're a Schedule C. You're a sole proprietor. Okay? If you wind up being a life insurance agent or a financial investment advisor like a lot of people do, that wind up getting downsized in the middle of their lives. <laughs> okay, you're technically in a business. You might even be getting a salary as a salesperson, but you're still in business. You, you're just in business selling somebody else's product or services. So let's talk about, you know, in all of those cases, hopefully you're, you're good at what you do, you produce something of value, and somebody is going to pay you for it. Okay, this is what happens. It's the every business is the same. I don't care if you're selling socks in, in Alaska, or if you're selling jelly beans in Florida, or you're selling, you know, Teslas to people in Southern California. The the evolution is the same. Now, if you're selling Teslas and to people, you, you're probably more than just the startup, so, so scratch that. But at some point, whoever's doing that, unless they were born rich, they had to start somewhere. And this is where we start. We have a product or a service that is, is valuable enough to somebody else that they're going to give us money for it or barter or whatever. But there's going to be an exchange. Okay. And usually when you go into business on purpose and you have something like I, I'm an accountant, I started doing tax returns. Well, I was pretty good at it. And after a while, my business started, I started getting referrals. And then what happened? I had to make a choice. I had so many clients. I couldn't keep a full-time job and keep my business. So I took a part-time job and grew my, my business full-time. But the fact of the matter is that I had something people were willing to pay for. So I have a business now. Now, once I went full time, once I quit my full time gig, which was over 20 years ago, once I did that, I'm, I'm flat out of time. I am flat out of time because I'm either doing the work, I'm doing the production or I'm selling. OK, now when I get too much work, I can't be selling. So what happens? You know, I, we're one man operations, one woman operations, one person operations. That's what I'm talking about. We reach a limit with our time. And so we're trying to juggle that time between sales, production, sales, productions, production. You get, so now, if, if you're like me at one point, I had so many clients coming in. This happened to me about 15 years ago, and I talk about this. Uh, I, I put an ad in the paper. My phone was ringing off the hook. Uh, this was actually 20 years ago. And I got so many leads that I started not paying attention to my production. I tried to hire people, and my production slipped. And then guess what happened? Then I started losing clients because they were mad at me. And now I got to try to keep getting new clients. And it was just a vicious cycle. And that's what normally happens. If you're good, you're going to get business. And at some point, you're going to hit a brick wall. Okay, I just got a client, a not-for-profit. Same thing happened. And when you hit the brick wall, it's painful. Because now you're saying, like, what, what did I do wrong? Well, maybe you didn't do anything wrong. Maybe you did everything right, except for the fact that you did not pay attention to your time. Because as it turns out, it doesn't matter how much sales you do, how much you can produce. 
it, it comes down to how can you manage your time effectively? And that's how guys like Richard Branson own 400 companies. Now, there aren't too many Richard Bransons around, but think about it. Think about how the president of the United States runs the, the country. Everything is organized. He doesn't have his hands in every little thing. But how do you get to that point? You know, that's the, the million dollar question. How do you get to the point where you can have all of these dishes spinning and you're on vacation? It takes time, effort, but the first thing it takes is, is mindset. You have to be mindful of it. And I talk about doing business with intention. Okay, so if you go into business and you think that all you have to do is sell enough widgets and everything's going to be fine, well, then something happens like this pandemic and you're not fine because things throw us off. And things always throw us off. Always. It's guaranteed. It's not if, it's when. And if you don't have things organized in the beginning, it's really hard to organize them when, when the crap hits the fan, okay, which is what a lot of people are probably doing now. So I have been saying, you know, since we got uh, confined to our homes and apartments, we can't go out. We have to find different ways to do business. Well, I, I've been trying to advise people uh, to don't sit on their hands and wait. Don't wait for the government stimulus checks, okay? If and when they're coming, they're only going to do so much for you. What you need to be doing is looking at your business, even if you had a brick and mortar business. Like my friend Larry has a, a string of hotels and he manages hotels. Well, nobody's staying at hotels right now, but I guarantee you Larry is not sitting around waiting for people to show up. He's doing stuff. He's trying to figure out how he can make money in the hotel business without actually having guests. In the, and I guarantee you, Larry's going to figure out a way. Okay. It'll probably be the first virtual hotel business ever. So uh, let me get on to, you know, the, so the rant is that it's going to be tough. You're, if you're good, you're going to hit a brick wall. So if you are mindful of this going in, you're going to have methods and systems for keeping track of your time. And that's all it comes down to. It's very simple. Now, it's a pain in the neck if you're not doing it. Because everything you're not doing is a pain in the neck. If it wasn't a pain in the neck, you'd be doing it. <laughs> so we avoid the things that are a pain, and we try to do the things that are fun. But that's not what creates a solid business. You know, it's fun to go out there and get a new client and get a big check. That's fun. That's exhilarating. I wish I could do that every day. But it doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work. And that's a fact. So if you go into your business and it doesn't matter what business you're in, you have to keep track of your time. And then if you get employees, you have to have ways to be keeping track of their time and their tasks and their goals and their projects. And then you have to be able to look at their time and, and decide with that accounting data, because that's what it is, it's information, you, can, you have to be able to decide, is this individual being productive in the job that I gave them? And if not, why? Because in the end, it always comes down to who, to you, the business owner. You can't be blaming an employee if they're not doing their job, because if they're not doing their job, you either got to get rid of them or teach them how to do their job. But most of us, and myself included, I usually just hire people and say, here's the job, do it. Well, I've had very limited success with that, with that system. And I'm being transparent here, but I'm no different than anyone else. I have a business just like everyone. I've been playing the time management thing for, for years, but I got it down. 
you know, when I decided to start doing my business intentionally, I started incorporating all of the systems that I thought my clients should have. See, I could, I could show clients the systems that they need, and that's what I can do for you if you, if you want to chat with me. Uh, but doing it for myself is, is a whole nother challenge. And sometimes what you need to do is you need to get somebody that's not looking at, that's not involved with all the details to take a look from the outside. And that's what a coach is. So let me show you my first, and I, I'm going to give you my three steps of what I do. And what it, what it did was uh, it created a habit, okay? And I'm going to share my screen with you there. And one of my favorite leaders of all time, uh, Vince Lombardi, so He's such a favorite character that I almost forgot what his name is. He said winning is a habit. Now, this guy was before Bill Belichick considered the greatest, uh, one of the greatest coaches that ever lived. Forget about football coaches. But he knew how to motivate people and he knew how to organize them. But he broke it down. He was successful, off the chart successful, because. He said, we're going to break it down to your habits. You don't do it right some of the time. You do it right all of the time. And when you start doing something, you know, there's a scientific fact. If you do something like the 28 days in a row, it, it sort of like sinks in to become a habit. So let me show you what this is. And all it is is this is my own form that, that I created to keep track of my day. And now some people have daily planners, or this is a lot more sophisticated than just a daily planner. And I'll show you part of, of my system, because just a daily planner did not do it for me. Okay, I tried all of them, and I'm a systems guy, so I said, well, I'm gonna create my own system. And this is what I do. So I have my, my morning routines and my, my, uh, just my daily routines, like get up, stretch. Uh, pray. Uh, I have things that I do on a regular basis, Facebook Lives like this. So, and then I keep track of it. I have the dates. I'll, I'll have one of these for every week. And then I look at my progress. And mm -hmm. so then I, I'll have tasks. So I'll write down all the major tasks that I'm, that I'm working on. And I'll, I'll start with my, my annual goals. Then I'll write down my monthly or however I want to do this, however I feel on that day, okay? But the bottom line is I have everything in a centralized uh, place where I document it, and I want to show it to you uh, so you know that. And actually, I'm going to show this to you after so you see the whole uh, – so you could see <laughs> the whole system in action. And so, you know, I work on a lot of different projects. So a project, I could have the projects over here. Uh, for instance, I'm doing this, this webinar. So that's a project. Uh, a goal is how many customers do I want to sign up from that? Uh, so that that's one sheet, okay? Uh, before that, I'm sorry, so before that, this was another thing that I introduced the other day, and I talked about this the last couple of nights. This is just a way, so this, this is where I would start with a new client. This is where I'm starting with new clients. <clears throat> and what this is, if you didn't see yesterday's uh, presentation, this is just a list of every single task that you have to do in, in your business. <clears throat> from taking out the mail to sending follow-up letters. Uh, you put it into the three categories. Uh, either It's either sales, production, or administration. So you, you categorize it. And then you just you see, are you doing it? Are you great at it? And do you love it? So what this does is it starts documenting where you're actually spending your time. And then you want to see where you can start uh, delegate. And if there 
over here and you don't, if you're not great at it and you don't love it, that's stuff you don't want to do. So when I started doing this, I actually identified two areas where I can hire somebody to do them for me. And that'll free up my time because I want to spend more time in the sales category. And that that's the whole objective of this. So, you know, I start out. Well, let me show you where I start out. So I have what, what I call my seven day package. And so I, I document everything and I save this stuff so that I save it because now I want to look at what are my results. And then I have a document to show me what my actions were that caused that result. And the result right now is there's not enough money in my bank account. Okay, so I'm looking at that and there's not enough money because there's not enough regular paying clients and there's not enough uh, sales of big, big items. So I can look at this and you just work it backwards. So now what I have is I got to keep track of my daily stuff. Okay, it's not enough to just keep track of goals and projects and my calendar. So now I got everything by day my routines so yes yeah, some of the stuff i'm duplicating but i'll tell you how i work so every week i'll print out one of these and i'll date them and sometimes if i have to do something on a wednesday and it's it's monday well i don't have to wait until wednesday i can go and put it on the wednesday calendar on the the daily wednesday thing <laughs> and over here this is invaluable because what I find is I have arbitrary notes and instead of putting them on post-its, which is what I used to do, now I just put them right in this one place. And so I'm gonna take the share off and I'm gonna show you, these are my last couple of days of dailies. So I have, you know, a whole, Package. So what happens is I will have one from the 11. Okay. Now I didn't check off all of my tasks. I, I don't always expect to check them all off. That's not what this is about. This is about keeping track of the important things that I have to do. They may not be urgent. So, but I do want to cross stuff off because when I go to the next day, I'm going to copy the stuff I didn't get to. And after a while, you'll start getting tired of copying the same thing. <laughs> and after a while, you'll say, oh, maybe I should just do that first today. Now, this is the whole package. And what I have here is in the front, I have my definite chief aim, which I read every day. I have my, my 13 principles, so I remind myself every day of what, I, you know, just remind myself of one of the principles, and, and that's the same thing Benjamin Franklin did. Uh, and then I just, I have more tasks, uh, some notes I have here with, with Post-its. And so every morning, and I also have uh, a page for journaling, I have calendars in here, and I even have my own vision board. So this is something that I created that I make available to clients. Uh, but you don't need this, but what you do need is a centralized, organized system. So that's my story. I'm sticking with it. If you want a free copy of this, just uh, book a free chat with me. Uh, go to timewithjoe.com. There it is. I'm so proud of myself that I learned this. Uh, StreamYard. It's StreamYard. If you want to know how I'm doing this, it's it's. I get the the beautiful background uh, and it's professional. And I'm going to end with that. God bless you. Uh, go to timewithjoe.com. Book a free chat with me. Uh, if you want to do a free mastermind, go to Mastermind with Joe DeChara. And that's it. Over and out. I will see you tomorrow night with some more amazing how to win at business information. Thank you.